What's going on everyone, Bear here from Steel Series, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to set up Sonar for streamers for the first time. Now, if you've already set up Sonar before, you can go ahead and skip over to the next chapter. I wanna quickly go over how to set up Sonar for those who may never have used it before. Once you've installed Steel Series GG, you'll be asked to sign in with an account. Now, if you don't already have one, it's easy to set up and you can create one right from here. Now, once you're logged into GG, you'll be greeted with this screen where you can decide what apps you want to have activated. If you're here just for Sonar, go ahead and turn that on and turn the rest off. You'll always be able to activate the other apps later. With that said, I would take time at some point to check out Moments. It's a super easy way to capture, edit, and share your clips with your friends and your community if you're a streamer. Anyways, let's get back to it. Go ahead and click Let's Go and select the Sonar tab on the left. So here is where you're going to be asked to choose your outputs. For game, this is going to be what you're using to hear your game and system sounds through. For me, I'm using the Nova Pro Wireless, so I'm going to go ahead and select that. Up next, you have your chat output. This is going to be where your voice communication apps like Discord or TeamSpeak is going to send to. So just like game, I want to have that sent to my headset. So again, I'm just going to select the Nova Pro Wireless. Now here we have two additional outputs that will target audio for your apps like YouTube and Spotify, just to name a couple. Again, since I'm using the Nova Pro Wireless, that's what I'll be selecting. But if you have anything like speakers, like the arenas or anything else that you wanna use, feel free to select that here as well. And finally, you have your mic input. I have the Alias Pro mic, so I'm gonna be selecting SteelSeries Alias Pro input. And then in parentheses, it should say SteelSeries Alias Pro one. Now, a cool thing to mention is that Sonar is gonna be compatible with third-party products. What this means is that you're not going to be required to go out and get the new Alias or Alias Pro microphone. So if you're already using like an Elgato Wave, a HyperX Quadcast, the Blue Yeti, they all will work within Sonar. Now the only caveat to this is that if you want to stream on a dual PC setup, it is going to require you to have the Alias Pro. However, we realize that'll be a minority of people out there. So we wanted to make sure that if you already have products, you wouldn't have to buy in in order to take advantage of Sonar for streamers. Now, once you've made all your selections for Sonar, it'll start setting up your devices. And then once that's complete, go ahead and click game on. Okay, so here we're in the mixer tab within Sonar, and this is where you can control all of the levels of your audio. Now for this video, we're gonna mainly focus on this section. We do have a separate video going through all of the different tabs for game, chat, media, aux, and mic, and how you can customize the audio in each of those categories. That video will be linked in the description down below. So if this is your first time using Sonar, I suggest pausing here, go and watch that video, and then come back to this point once you have your audio set to your liking. Now, once you have all your audio set up within Sonar, let's go ahead and turn on streamer mode up here at the top right. Now, once you've activated streamer mode for the first time, you'll get this pop-up that'll give you information on what exactly you're gonna be doing. So go ahead and read through that. And then if you want additional information, feel free to click here. Now, once you've read through everything, the first thing you'll notice is that you'll have devices that you'll need to select under your master channel. First up, under your personal mix, you'll want to select the device that you're using to listen to your audio. So now, whether that's your SteelSeries headset or the Arena speakers, even if you're using a third-party headset or a third-party set of speakers, you'll want to select whatever you're using. So for me personally, I have the Nova Pro Wireless, so I'm going to go ahead and select that. Now, if you have the Alias Pro microphone and you're using a headset hardwired into that and want to use real-time monitoring for your audio, make sure to select SteelSeries Alias Pro Personal, and then in parentheses, it should say SteelSeries Alias Pro 1. Otherwise, go ahead and choose whatever device you're using. Now, moving on under your stream mix, this is going to be the audio that's put out to your stream. Now, this will also be dependent on what device you're using. So if you're using the standard Alias microphone, the Alias Pro for single PC or any third party device, go ahead and select SteelSeries Sonar Stream. And then in parentheses, it should say SteelSeries Sonar Virtual Audio Device. Now, if you're going to be using the Alias Pro for a dual PC setup, you'll want to select SteelSeries Alias Pro Stream. And then in parentheses, SteelSeries Alias Pro 1. And finally, under your mic input, Go ahead and select the microphone that you're going to be using. I have the Alias Pro, so I'm going to select the SteelSeries Alias Pro input. And then in parentheses, it should say SteelSeries Alias Pro 1. Now, once you have all three of your inputs selected, you can go ahead and exit out. And just a quick note, if you ever change your equipment and need to update your sources, you can click this gear icon next to master and it'll bring up your devices so they can be adjusted later on. 
All right, so moving on, the next big difference that you should notice is that there's now two sliders in each channel. On the left, there's a slider with a headphone icon. This will control the audio that you're hearing in your personal mix. And a slider on the right with the streaming icon, this will control the audio that your stream is hearing, allowing you to adjust each individually for both yours and your stream's preferences. Now we'll dive deeper into that in a minute once we start talking about submixing. But first I wanna point out that each channel by default is gonna have audio going to your personal mix, but only the mic channel will be active in your stream mix to start. What this means is that you'll have to go in and manually activate each channel that you want in your stream. So this was intentionally done. This way, if you accidentally started streaming before you had everything set up and you were playing audio that you didn't wanna share, it would not be broadcasted to your stream until you manually go in and activate that channel. Now to activate the audio in your stream, just go ahead and click the gear icon at the top right of each channel and select add to stream mix. Vice versa, if you wanna remove audio from either your personal or stream mix, you can unselect it here as well. Okay, let's quickly go over submixing. Now the way this will work is that any app you have playing audio like OBS, Discord, Spotify, YouTube, whatever it may be, will show up under your game channel. As well, sometimes it might show up under the master channel but in order to get the audio from your specific app into a specific channel, all you need to do is drag the app into that channel that you want to assign it to. Now I do have Spotify open up here, but you'll notice that in Sonar it doesn't recognize it. And this is because it needs audio playing from the app in order to show up within Sonar. So once I start playing a song, you'll notice that once we go back into Sonar, that it shows up under the game channel. Now for me personally, I want this to be in my aux channel, so all you need to do is drag it over and you're good to go. Now some apps might show up grayed out, meaning that you can't assign them to a channel even though audio is playing. So in this case specifically, I have Discord open, but I'm not able to assign it to a channel. So what you'll need to do is go into the app settings and reassign the input and output devices. So for input, I'm going to select SteelSeries Sonar Microphone. And for output, I'll select SteelSeries Sonar Gaming. You notice that once we're back in Sonar, it shows up and I can assign it to my chat channel. Now that you have your apps routed into each channel, all you need to do is adjust the volume for both your personal and your stream mix. You can do this individually for each channel or use the master channel to control everything but your microphone. We've also included this button at the bottom of your master channel with the ear icon. This will allow you to hear your stream mix in real time. So if you need to make any adjustments on the fly while streaming, or you just want to double check all your audio before you go live, you can do this at any time. And the final thing to point out is that there is a mute button at the bottom of each channel for both your personal and mixed streams. So say you have Spotify on your aux channel and you want music playing in between games, you can mute and unmute as needed without having to open up Spotify directly. All right, we hope everyone enjoys Sonar for streamers. If you have additional questions, feel free to check out our tech blog on our website. It's going to have tips and tricks for all your SteelSeries products. Have a great day and for glory.